Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hope and before we get started, I just want to ask you guys to watch this video to the end and when the video is over, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and give me a thumbs down if you don't. Um, I would love to get you guys feedback and also once you make it to the end, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and comment below like this video and share it with a friend now that's out the way let's get started so my name is hope like I said before and I am the founder of hope in her incorporated so the purpose of the organization is to help women and children of color who've experienced some type of trauma to heal beyond that trauma so we work with young girls as well as older adult ladies so my nonprofit had, was started October 2016 and this channel is a way for me to educate you guys on mental health, traumatic experiences, mother-daughter relationships, as well as emotional eating. So a little, a little bit about myself. Um, I am a licensed mental health professional. I'm a licensed social worker as well as mental health coach. I also am a power lifter. If you would like to follow my journey, head on to Instagram at Just More Hope and follow my power lifting journey over there. I recently uploaded a video for all you natural hair girls. If you are into making your own um, hair products, I recently uploaded a video for a do-it-yourself leave-in conditioner, which is amazing. The original recipe was created by Kim A2, so I will put a link to her channel in the description box below. Um, so I've, uh, I am a little bit behind on the videos because um, I've been natural for almost, I've been natural for a little bit over 11 years, but the day this challenge started, I started a new journey, which are sister locks. So, if you are familiar with sister locks, you know that they can take quite a long time. Um, and because of the length of my hair, it's taken so far um, right over 28 hours. And I still have a nice amount of hair left in the middle that has to get finished. So, every day a challenge was being done, I was driving an hour to New Orleans to see my sister lock consultant to have these pretty sister locks installed and I was sitting in front of a TV and having a lady do my hair for about 12 hours a day and so I wasn't able to upload anything because I was just not comfortable I guess but I did record some things that I will post in a sister lock journey video a little bit later. So I hope you guys are interested in that journey. So today, to, uh, so today is my first day actually wearing my hair out. And I will be honest, I have not, I have not been won over yet by sister locks. I love my natural hair. Um, here's a picture. See my wash and go love it um i love my hair i love my natural loose hair and sister locks was something that i have been interested in getting for over four years and so i met a lady who was willing to do it for a really good price so i figured you know why not and you know because my busy schedule i just decided this would be the perfect time for me to change over to the lock family um, but yeah, I really do miss my natural hair so far, my loose natural hair, but you know, we'll see what happens with these things. They are pretty so far. I also have a podcast. So for Mother's Day, we had a podcast called How Do We Forgive Our Mothers? And it was basically how do you renew a strained or toxic or broken relationship between a mother and daughter? And that's something that I'm passionate about. That's something that, um, hoping her was built upon one of the found one of the things that hope and heart was built upon and so if you want to listen to that podcast i will put a link in the description box below and also i've done a couple of facebook live videos or discussions in regards to mother-daughter relationships how do you repair those that's something that um 
I got a lot of feedback from after the podcast. And so that's something that we will continue to have a conversation about because it is very important. Let's not get all into that. I just wanted to let you know some things that I have been working on. Um, and another thing, one great thing that I'm excited about and really scared about, I'm relocating this summer to Washington, D.C. I currently live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but I, I am from Memphis, Tennessee. I've been in Baton Rouge for almost 14 years. Oh, nope. I've been in Baton Rouge for 14 years now, and it is time for me to go. And so I'll be leaving Louisiana this summer and headed to Washington, D.C. I am super excited. I'm really scared. Um, it's almost like one of those a big fish jumping into a bigger pond situation for me. But I was reminded by a really close friend that, you know, you may be jumping in a bigger pond, but guess what? You can swim. And I was just blown away. So I'm excited now to move to DC. If you are in the DC area, let me know below because I need some new friends. Um, I'm still looking for housing. So if you have any recommendations for housing, put those in the comments below because I would love to get you guys' input. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was interesting. If you like what I said, if you like this video and you would like to see more, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment below and subscribe to the channel. Bye guys.